I remember when Minecraft was a bright idea and a small indie game with endless potential. Now it's one of the biggest video game properties in history with spin-offs, lore, and to this day, that same endless potential. Today we'll take a look at the highly anticipated Minecraft toy from Mattel, the Minecraft Ultimate Ender Dragon. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. The Ultimate Ender Dragon comes with the titular Ender Dragon, an armored Steve figure with bow and arrow, and a pumpkin helmet. The Ender Dragon requires very minor assembly out of the box, and it is big. It has nearly a two foot wingspan. The wings have springy joints, so you can make the dragon flap by moving them up and down. The tail is articulated at three points, the limbs can rotate back to simulate a flying pose, and the neck can rotate 45 degrees left or right. To take advantage of the remaining features, you'll need three AAA batteries, which are not included. But first, fill up the water reservoir in the head with a little bit of slightly warm water and close it up tight. Press the rear back spike for some familiar sound effects from the Ender Dragon fight. Press the middle spike for a roar and light up features. And press the front spike to shoot a breath attack. Hit Steve and he will take damage via a color changing feature. This will wear off after 10 to 15 minutes. Shake it off, bud. Equip the bow by slotting it in Steve's hand. Don your mighty pumpkin helmet and now you're ready to reenact a fierce battle. Which Minecraft biome is your favorite? Let us know down in the comments. The Ultimate Ender Dragon set is a solid toy with several key pros. It's big, has features and gimmicks that all work as advertised, is solid and great for pretend play, and it looks just like the source material. Any Minecraft fan would love to have this. A small con is the omission of batteries, which would have been nice to include even if they were test batteries. I also would have liked a little more articulation in the dragon, as it's hindered in a couple places you wouldn't expect, like the front limbs and the base of the tail. These are, however, small gripes. I give the Ultimate Ender Dragon a solid four and a half out of five stars. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.